Hello, my name is Steve D. Gage. My specialty is engineering theorism. I have experience going back to 1974 working with my specialty which is closed propulsion. I worked with John Bloomer in 1974 as a propulsion expert. John Bloomer is an ex-employee of NASA, an ex-engineer for NASA. Uh, he also entered the X-Prize contest for the first vehicle uh, to make it into space by a private organization. Um, years later, <clears throat> re more recently in 2010 and 11, I worked with Rick R. Dobson. Um, let me tell you a little story of how this video came about. In 1981, I came up with an idea of how the forces must work to, to allow closed propulsion to take place. This uh, <clears throat> arrangement of forces is based on Off, it's based off of an extrapolation from Gurdjieff's Enneagram. Uh, I'll show the basic Enneagram in this video here. And I will also then show the extrapolation which is called the Evolagram. Uh, I am the inventor of the Evolagram it is listed on the internet by search but it doesn't give credit I actually invented it in 1981 <clears throat> December 24th and in 1983 I s s mailed information about it to California to Stella work and her organization as being the original Enneagram that Gurdjieff spoke of but hesitated to reveal in 1914 or so. Um, it describes the three forces that Gurdjieff spoke of. It, the Evolagram utilizes or it shows the three forces that Gurdjieff spoke of which is the active the passive and the neutralizing and I'll show a diagram of the symbolize, symbolization of that here. The whole idea behind closed propulsion is to neutralize the opposite reaction and this symbol describes how to do that. I submitted in the 1990s and 1980s I submitted numerous designs to the Department of Energy um, <clears throat> which were turned down for funding because they didn't understand that these the way that these the law of three as it's called or the three fundamental forces that wasn't part of scientific knowledge at that time um, so by the year 2000 I had a finished diagram of how this can be achieved, this closed propulsion can be achieved via, via via hydraulic or gearing and I think gearing is the best way as Rick Dobson and I have discussed hydraulics is just too heavy and too bulky but you'll see in this diagram my design which has two discs one on top of the other counter rotating 
with four arms each with weights at the ends of each arm. <clears throat> and then uh, I'll throw in here that um, a diagram that shows the direction of motion. Now I've never built this. However, Rick R. Dobson Jr. understand he understood these same principles as far as neutralizing force and active and passive, although he he didn't really call them that but he did understand how forces can be manipulated and um, he actually did build a device I believe he said it weighed 86 pounds and it was able to levitate three times its own weight powered by two one horsepower electric motors um, in, a, in the 1980s his offices were consequently ransacked and all of his paperwork destroyed and this device eventually destroyed too. But uh, it was a working model and it can be built again and he published here on YouTube how that, how that model worked and um, I'm lucky enough to have the video of that by his permission um, and I'll play that here now as you can see the force the most force is always at the up position so it is the same basic principle although it is not a forearmed unit two forearmed units on top of each other or beside each other but rather it's in two eight-armed units same simple same basic design just different number of uh, arms and units and weights this technology I believe has been available for decades and is being kept secret like I said, um, Rick has been ransacked many times, and most recently, I believe in 2011, his house was firebombed for publishing on YouTube, and who knows who did it. He has his ideas, but I don't know who did it. Um, some, some of the powers that be somewhere out there don't want this known. And uh, on my own, in my own life, I had a package of my artwork, my mechanical drawing artwork, which was stolen approximately five or six years ago. And they got a lot of interesting stuff, except they did not get that diagram that I showed you, and I'll show it here again because it was in a different place and um, <clears throat> so thank goodness I didn't have to draw it all over again but um, this technology can be used for propulsion for any kind of vehicle including spacecraft especially spacecraft it's very much more efficient than rocket propulsion um, acceleration outside the atmosphere can reach probably millions of miles per hour with very little energy expended. It can be powered electrically nucle with nuclear or with internal combustion. You don't need to use a lot of fuel to power this kind of a unit. Um, Rick had told me that um, his unit, when, when he, uh, the one he built, got up to lifting three times its own weight, the RPMs got very, very high, and it began to shake and, and uh, vibe, uh, make a whining noise. But that can, be, that can be overcome. I mean, that's just a technical problem. 
a simple solution is lower RPMs and bigger weights, heavier weights, um, and more accurate machining of the parts. Um, so pass this video along with uh, the end of the Mayan calendar coming in a few few days, in a month exactly actually to this day. I think it's time that the people know what the government has and their damn black op operative crap that they could be using this, we could be using this, the public could be using this. It, it could very well help us solve our gasoline problems for one thing. It's more efficient than a simple internal internal combustion engine by itself. And our spacecraft, instead of gobbling up thousands and thousands of gallons of oxygen and hydrogen, could be using this technology and polluting nothing at very much less cost. The greatest thing about this type of design is that it can be miniaturized. It can be built at any, any scale. So, um, hold on a second. Computer's telling me something. <laughs> um, this is Black Op top secret technology and this video is intended to blow the top off of this secret. Um, once again I'm going to show Rick Dobson's animation of the working of the forces to cause something to lift without reacting against an outside mass. That is the nature of close propulsion. Pass this video along. May the truth come out and may mankind be better off for it. Thank you very much.